what is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. Today we're going to open, open a two of these Eternatus V Max boxes. Uh, the camera's pretty zoomed in. Uh, I think they're actually a really good product. Eternatus is turning out to be way stronger than I kind of thought he was. Uh, looks like he did very well in the latest Hexter tournament. Uh, taking a look at it at like top eight, or well, four, so half of the top eight was Eternatus, including our mod Get Rex. A huge shout out to you and congratulations on your top eight finish. Um, so before we get into this box, I already have two open, so we don't have to watch me open it, but I'm just gonna show off a couple cards we've been picking up. And first off is Secret Rare Quick Ball. So obviously such a strong card, it'll probably be used, I don't know, forever. And uh, so I do think it's worthwhile to get your play sets and Secret Rare. Basically, it looks like the going rate is like $30, so anytime I can get it like mid-20s, I'll pick it up and looking for just one more. Let's see what else we got. We got some other singles and a Shadowless Clefairy. Clefairy seems to be like the cheapest base set card. Uh, the latest PWCC auction, which I don't have the cards yet, uh, picked up a few of those. And then we have a Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu. So this is from base set. Basically, at one point, the cheeks were red, and then they kind of, I guess, corrected it to yellow. So that's why, like, the eliminated ones are pretty sure all yellow. Pretty rough condition, but hey, Red Cheeks will take it. And then lastly, we have two cards and some um, top loaders. And all right, taking a look at this one. Not great shape. Probably, like, a good played. Maybe PSA 6, 7, maybe. And it is a base set two Charizard, uh, base set two, probably like the cheapest, you know, when you get, when it comes to how old cards are and bang for the buck and that kind of thing. Definitely base set two is where to get it. And actually, I'm not sure if I have a graded Charizard base set two, so we probably get this guy graded at some point. And then slowly building out the crystal type collection. Here we have the Golem. I think it's one of the cooler looking ones. And we got the crystal type Golem reverse. Uh, probably get this guy graded at some point as well so let's talk about this product i think it's great for obviously if you want to play competitive and you weren't able to crack too many packs uh get your get your eternatus v and v max all in one product i think these things msrp for 40 which is kind of high uh for our patrons we're offering them at 25 dollars per box for some breaks and uh so we've got some cool stuff in it i already opened it up and one thing i want to say real off right off the bat is that they are packaged well they got these this little plunger thing so it's really easy to take them out without getting damage it is so frustrating when you buy a product and then the promos come out in bad shape and i feel like the center is not perfect for a lot of these these are the other two that i got out so the center is not perfect but probably good enough to get graded uh but again probably the best way to get your play sets i do like the green background even though the art is basically the same and then let's see what else does it come with you got your jumbo card, we'll leave this over here, and a obnoxiously large coin, I don't know why, um, I'm all for a different them changing up, but uh, this thing is, I don't know, I'm not sure if anyone would want to bring that to like an event or anything, and then a pin, Eternatus pin, pretty cool, and pack selection, not too bad, we got evolutions, which, actually, you know what, this product is pretty good for just going like miss uh, charizard hunting got some bunch of charizards in here you can find rebel clutch which is i guess it's the latest set um although not too happy to see that sword and shield always good to open those looking for those quick balls again two darkness ablaze and then two burning shadows so a lot of charizard potential in here let's get into the opening and uh yeah just a reminder we do have a patreon service where we offer breaks and these guys are going for 25 a pop and uh, later this month, hoping to do Champions Path ETBs for the low price of $40 per ETB. So check out the details down below if you are interested. And for our first pack, we have Seal River Seal into a Dugong. As you can see, constantly changing our opening setup. Um, as opposed to a straight top down, we'll try to more like head on. I feel like. For the face cam, I'm looking down a lot more. All right, nothing there. Let's get into pack number two. Venusaur Spear Link. And oh, actually, if you do play the online game and you're looking for some Eternatus, because we're cracking some of these for myself, we'll be giving away the digital promos. 
So um, we'll give away at least one set Tuesday and one set Thursday. I to modify our stream schedule a little bit because of Labor Day. So yeah, Eternatus giveaways this week. And on to Rebel Clash. Uh, kind of a weird set because a lot of the stuff that you would normally be looking for has just fallen off as far as price just because of various products like the trainer's toolkit you can get all your bosses uh man best product still by far and then uh yeah i'm not sure when was the last time i've seen a dragapult list i would feel like kind of fell off a cliff especially with if eternatus is relevant that thing is uh just brutal that matchup i have to imagine can't say i've tried it scoop up net all right, let's see. On to, what is this? Still Darkness of Blaze. And then we'll move into Sword and Shield. So nothing so far, but that's okay. But we're looking for something towards the later half of this opening. And, uh, you know, for these kind of products, that, you know, sometimes you're just kind of whiff. And that's why getting, buying ones that actually have a good promo is so important. I'm not sure how much Eternatus and Eternatus V Max are going for, but, uh, it's definitely a very strong, you know, very strong, they're very strong cards and doing very well currently in the new meta. Team Yell Grunt reverse into a Drapion. All right, last Sword and Shield pack. All right, let's finish off that play set of Quick Balls, Secret Rare Quick Balls. That would be amazing. And yeah, obviously still a lot of good supporters in here looking for some full art research and Marnies. Don't give me another rainbow beady. <laughs> All right, here we go. A Minchino into a Mudsdale. All right, Darkness Ablaze. Obviously, we can hit that Charizard V Max. Mine some more Scented Scorches. No more Grim Snarls, and I think I'm okay on Butterfreeze as well. Although interesting about Butterfree, so I was in the process of sending some cards to PSA, including some for patrons, and uh, some people sent me some Darkness Ablaze stuff. The only thing you can send to Darkness Ablaze is like the Charizard V Max, uh, Butterfree Hyper Rare, Center Scorch Viper, Hyper Rare, and I think Eternatus, and maybe there's one more. But it's kind of interesting that they don't they don't accept the full set yet. So I had to hold off on some cards being submitted. But yeah, as an initial review of this product, obviously the packs are kind of hit or miss, but definitely top-notch promo. And uh, kind of like the tins that just came out really destroys that tin uh, because like, you know, Eternatus V, or you can get both of them with this product. Uh, obviously this one's slightly more expensive. Just ingredient there. All right, let's see, we got two more Dark as a Blaze, then we'll wrap up with Burning Shadows, the ultimate home run out of this box that we're going for. We busted open a pair of Burning Shadow ETBs on stream on Friday. And it's like, all right, sometimes you just don't get anything. And we did hit a Rainbow Rare, which we asked for, but it was the Galissapod. And all I saw was that Rainbow Pattern. To be honest, I wasn't really paying attention. Maybe I was reading chat or something. So then for a split second, I thought we had it. And that card is uh, two to 3,000 PSA 10 right now. All right, last pack of Darkness Ablaze. And um, yeah, pack-wise, these boxes have not been uh, doing too good. Just a Talon Flame there, so big whiff. All right, if there's ever time to clutch up and get something, it would be now with this pack. This set. All right, here we go. Super Scoop Up Plumeria. Good old Burning Shadows. Seen all these cards so many times. Meowth, a Vulpix, Palo Sand. Oh, the terrifying fish. Not a fan of you. All right, guys, last pack. If we ever needed some last pack magic, it is right now. For this opening. Here we go. Plumeria again. A Noibat. 
Spur, it's Pan Sage, Pan Poor, a Dust Clops Reverse. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.